if you want to scale something, you know, truly successful and truly massive, it's going to come down to the talent that you have working right alongside you. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Uh, obviously, I've made it quite um, public knowledge that I'm trying to grow a very large company. Uh, I believe that to do so, I'll probably need 400 staff or thereabouts, 300 to 400, depending on um, how everything's looking at the time. And the reality is, uh, if you want to have that many people, they need to be talented and they need to be enabled to do their jobs and you can't micromanage. Now, I think that, um, you know, the traditional uh, methods of uh, ruling with an iron fist no longer work. And if you want uh, to grow something truly substantial that is going to come down to the the sum of all the talent and effort of the people that work alongside you, so your team members, um, and if you uh, treat them badly, they will not stick around. The internet has changed a bunch of different things. Obviously, there's you know you can buy things better and you can get things shipped better, but it also means that there are uh, forums for uh, employees that might be on the on the line. They might not be unhappy, but they might not be totally happy. Um, there's Facebook groups and there's you know LinkedIn. Everyone has this ability to communicate with the world in a way that they never had before. And if you've got people that aren't truly and deeply in love with working with your company or on the projects that you've given them, they have options now. So I encourage you, if you want to grow anything truly substantial, and to be honest, even if you just want to have a relaxed business, treat your people well. Find out what is bothering them, what they need, what their needs, wants, and desires are. And if you can help them, help them. Obviously, there's a commercial reality that you can't give them everything that they want, but you need to make sure that you listen and communicate that back with them. And if you do so and you give them all the tools that they need, you get out of their way, and you show appreciation for the efforts that they put in, you will grow something beautiful. I know that sounds very simple, but I see a lot of people that do the opposite, and then they're wondering why they're always trying to find new staff and why their you know their whole life is just this continuous merry-go-round of human resources, and it doesn't have to be. You are occasionally going to have problems, and that's just the reality of dealing with human beings, but if you can do the things that I just said, you're going to reduce that. So... That is it. Thanks for tuning into In the Car with Clint today. Be kind to each other. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll talk to you tomorrow.